What's up, guys? This is John Gamester. I'm going to show you a game that I, I, I've been playing recently a lot lately. It's Hot Shot Racing. Uh, this game I'm playing on the Switch, obviously, but it did also come out on, on Steam. Uh, this game got me back into racing. I, I love growing up these racing games. I grew up playing OutRun. I grew up playing Virtual Racing, a lot of these classics, uh, you know, uh, Daytona USA, etc. And for some reason or another, the last couple of years, I've not played many racing games, and this one... Got me back into it. Uh, and you see here, Sumo Digital helped work on this game. And Sumo Digital, for those who may not be aware, have worked on other racing classics, including the OutRun series, F1 racing series. Uh, they worked on uh, Sonic All-Star Racing, for example. So they've worked with Sega, who to me, Sega makes some of the best racing games. So it's super, super cool that there's a tie-in with Sega in this game. It's awesome. Uh, and that voice right there, that Welcome to Hotshot Racing, that's my good friend, Jason Heine. He did the audio for this game, and I'm super proud of him. Uh, he's been working on this game for five plus years, going back to our days on All Gen Gamers podcast. He was talking about it. Uh, so super cool of him. Kudos to him. Uh, you got Grand Prix. You got different options, different players. Uh, you do single race, time trial, online, uh, local wireless, which is awesome. You can do split screen. It's super old school. Love it. Race shop. You can customize uh, different vehicles and characters. So a lot of different, uh, different customizations, which is super cool. And of course, settings, you can change the audio controls and there's credits. So let me see something real quick and see if my buddy, uh, Jason Heine, I'm sure he will uh, appear in the credits uh, eventually, but super cool that he, he is a part of this game. Um, that's awesome. So let's go to uh, uh, Grand Prix and there's four different circuits. There is, uh, each one has four different uh, races and courses. So there's 16 total. So we'll start with the first one. Uh, the different difficulties, normal, hard, and expert. This is a game you can just pick up and play. Uh, there are, what, eight different characters you can choose from, racers. I'll do Mike. And there's a lot, there's four different cars you can choose from as well, which have their different abilities. So uh, this first one's probably the most balanced. If you like high acceleration or heavy drift, I'm going to go with balance. Although this, this one visually, I think, looks like cool. It's like a Porsche. Super cool, but... Let's check out uh, automatic or manual. There's a learning curve with manual a little bit, just up and down shifting, but I'll do automatic. One egg in every basket. And this game is definitely a nod to virtual racing. If you ever played that game for, for Sega, I played it, I think it came out in 92 in the arcades. Obviously it was ported to the Genesis and the 32X back in the day, but visually it looks like, this is like the predecessor of virtual racing, which is awesome. So if you ever played the game, uh, this is a game you definitely will enjoy. No doubt. So, uh, shoulder buttons, acceleration. It's all about timing here. And see if I get the timing right. Oh, I did. I got it right. Sweet. Okay. And the music. Good. Jason did a really good job. You can drift in this game. And it helps you turn. And just like most classic racers, it's you against the clock, as well as uh, you against, obviously, your opponents here. So, you get checkpoints. This is like arcade style racer so you can kind of crash into things things like that it's a cool cruise ship in the background there and it's so cool to hear jason's voice when he's doing the announcing there he is toy sounds like him too <laughs> that's awesome so again kudos kudos to jason on a great job here with this game and this sh ah a terrible turn where am i going Thanks, Jason. I know I'm going the wrong way. Thanks for, for telling me that. Uh, the drifting <laughs> does get... Uh, am I going to make it? Three, two, one. Oh, I barely made it. Oof. Yeah, the, the drifting definitely takes a little getting used to because you have to tap the left shoulder button. And you kind of have to let go of the gas a little bit too. So um, I'm driving like I'm drunk right now. I know. I'm not. I promise you I'm not drunk. But... <laughs> Let's see, what place am I? I'm eighth place? Oh my goodness. There they are. Let's see if I can get them. Checkpoint. My second lap. Oh, I see him. Here I come. Let's get him. Ugh. Ten, come and get the checkpoint. Nine. I mean, it's going to be so close. Last lap. Let's see how I do. Oh, 
Come on. Oh, just past that guy. He was driving like me earlier. <laughs> I haven't played this game online, to be honest, um, but I can imagine this game being a really fun game to play on others online. And this game is getting good, strong reviews, which is great to see. Uh, great to see it getting love. It's a tough turn right there. Let's see what we'll place fourth. All right, considering how I started, I am I am happy with fourth place. Uh, and so you get money in account, and you can you can add uh, you can do upgrades and stuff like that. So uh, it kind of ranks you, boost a hundred times, uh, drift three hundred times. You get different. Uh, so it's cool. Um, let's go continue. Here's the next race. This reminds me of Arizona, <laughs> where, I, where I live. That's cool. I would say I held it too long and I start off slow. That wasn't very good of me. Well, you just call me an old lady? That's not cool. Some of these really tight corners and spins. Yeah, it's definitely a... Control, controls are solid, even though I'm not really doing this game justice playing the way I'm playing, of course, but... It is, are, they are solid controls. I don't have any control. It's, it's user error for sure on my end. But it just plays really smooth. It's cool that it's in 1080p. If you guys are fans of classic games like virtual racing and, and things like that, this is kind of the... And Jason was kind of explaining to me that this is kind of essentially, I know Sega was trying to plan on doing a, a second follow-up to virtual racing, and this is kind of it, guys. This is kind of what they, that's what they wanted uh, digital, uh, Sumo Digital to work on this game, so that's super cool. So if you're a fan of the original virtual racing, uh, this is definitely one a game to check out. I just have so many fond memories of playing that game in the arcade, and I mean, it'd be cool to see this get like an arcade port. It'd be awesome if it was available in arcade. But uh, next best thing is definitely uh, at home on your console on your Switch. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have this game. If you guys, uh, what other racing games you guys recommend. I appreciate it. Leave a comment below. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. And, of course, game on.